guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is danielle i'm all about positivity i do unboxings try on hauls and i just share a positive message and life with you guys and today as you can see by my wild hair i am going to blow dry and flat iron it and show you guys what it looks like like that because i don't think i've ever had it on my channel yet with it like that um i freshly washed it um, and then I was trying to wait for it to dry. I've been combing it, you know, brushing it out as well because it tends to stay curly and curl up fast. And it's still wet at the ends, as you can tell. It's still, it wants to curl up um, whenever it's moisture. So I'm trying to let the ends dry a little bit more and then I'm gonna blow dry flat iron it um, to do a length check and just to wear it. You know, I usually do twice a year, um, maybe every six months or something. I'll, blow dry flat iron it and wear it straight but yeah so you guys if you are already subscribed thank you for coming back and watching and if you are new here go ahead and click that subscribe button hit that like button stick around and watch me straighten my hair okay guys so um what I use to wash my hair is the Aussie Miracle Moist um, this is the shampoo, Miracle Moist shampoo. I usually have to get these big, huge jugs because um, my son's, uh, my husband, he usually uses this as well as them. Um, and then I get the Total Miracle 7-in-1 conditioner. Um, we all use this, but I also use other shampoo and conditioners as well. Sometimes, sometimes I'll just use a co-wash. Um, in between my washes um, as well so but these I use all the time and also I used this it's called power greens hair tea rinse and um, it's very soothing um, and it's for weak dull curly coily hair um, moringa and avocado oil and this is from Shea Moisture and I'll link everything below you guys what I used um, if I can find a price for it, I'll also tell you the price. And then I also did this argan oil repairing deep conditioner. Also, it is almost all the way dry. This part on the top is all the way dry. This is the frizziest and driest part. Um, of my hair I have nothing in it that's why it looks like this um, it's usually curly and I can get it to um, if I put my my leave-in conditioner I can get it and use my um, Denman brush I can get it to coil and curl but right now it's just dry and frizzy but I'm trying to let it dry more and the ends as you can see I need to dry, let them dry a little bit more Try to, it's almost there but yeah, so I'm gonna show you um, what I'm gonna use to blow dry. I'm gonna use this Fakai Blowout um, Primer. And this is what I usually use and I spray it all over my hair and then I blow dry. So I'm gonna spray it all over now just to get it a little bit moist and work it into my hair, not too damp because I don't want it really, it takes me forever to blow dry and flat iron if it's too damp and moist so I'll just spray this all over let this set in then we'll blow dry <laughs> yeah let me blow dry my hair straight what's right, up y'all this is my son Joe he's such a sweetheart He's so, positivity. So, I'm gonna continue to spray a little bit more. And then, I'm going to actually just comb it in a little bit. I brush it in. This is what I use, guys, to blow dry my hair. It's from, um, Careco. I don't even know where I got it from. I had it forever, but I loved how it bends. 
and has the vents in there and it usually works really well for my hair so that's what I that's what I use when I blow dry it so when I start blow drying I will fast forward and then show you what it looks like blow dry that's usually I try to get it as straight as I can but it's usually still got a lot of frizz to it um, and then I'll I'll flat iron it to show you. I have this old Beat Out Sassoon Ion Select. I don't even know where I got it from. It's really old. Um, you can see that, but it works really well. And I just haven't gotten a new one yet, but that's my old blow dryer. And then when I flat iron, I'm gonna use this um, Chai Chi, however you say it's Silk Infusion and flat iron and that usually lets my hair um, last longer straight because my hair loves absorbing the moisture in the air and curling and frizzing. So, and last but not least, this is my Baby Bliss Pro Titanium Flat Iron. And this is what I use to flat iron my hair and it works really well. And I believe it goes up to 450. Yep, I usually put it on 390. Um, I usually don't put it up to the highest setting, but my hair can withstand and take a lot of heat and still curl right back up, so I have no problem. Um,
lines mean. My hair looks so much different when it's straight than when it's curly. It looks so much thinner and shorter, but when I straighten it, this is just blow dry. So when I take small sections and flat iron, it'll get a lot smoother and um, thinner. But just with this blow dry, I mean, you can see how long my hair's got. Right here. Um, it's just, I have a lot of thin strands of hair, if you know what I'm saying. Like it's, that's why it's so frizzy because the strands are so thin, but I have a lot of it. So it looks super duper thick and it's just like, whew, so hot. Guys, now, so now I'm going to fly iron. So I'm going to take small sections and start from the back and it's going to take me a while. So I will speed through this part as well. and I know you see me going over it quite a few times with the um, flat iron and I know people say you're only supposed to be go over it like a couple times but my hair takes a lot of heat to get straight and um, it holds a lot of heat so that's why I'm going over it quite a few times
I usually only get it halfway down first anyways and then I have to take it off and finish going all the way down because I have to move the comb. See, so I didn't get all the way down to the end. So now I'm going to try to go all the way down to the end. There we go. And I gotta get, I try to get to the go over the roof, I still feel it, like, wavy, I'll try to go over the root again, if you see me looking over here, I have a mirror over here that I'm looking at as well. Chase it with that comb after just to make sure you got it straight and combed out and that you don't touch it like right away because my hair is still, it holds the heat and it's super duper hot and it burns. My fingers can touch it right away, right after.
so I'm done straightening it. Blow dry, flat iron. Um, it's pretty much straight. Pretty much straight. It's still a little bit, you know, it could be a little bit silkier, um, straighter, but I mean, it's, it's really straight. I just have to, what I have to do for my hair is, I don't know if you know what a wrap is, but I have to wrap it, just take it and um, part it in the middle and then just wrap it around all the way, brush it, wrap it around and put some bobby pins in it, then put a silk scarf on. And then in the morning by tomorrow when I let it down, then it'll be nice and silky and straight, but it's really soft. So, yeah guys, so let's see how long my hair is. Well, sorry about the lighting, but if you can see, I just have to put a little bit more oil in my hair. My hair soaks up like it's so dry. It needs a lot of oil. Um, it's really soft, but I like it to look a little silkier. So that's why I'm going to wrap it around and put a silk scarf on tonight. Um, <laughs> 